Um, but the main thing is there's a couple things we need to make sure that we do not make the mistake here. First of all, remember that the square root of x equals plus or minus x, right? Now, since we have x approaches infinity, we're only going to be dealing with the values of x as they're getting more and more positive. Does that make sense? OK. So let's go ahead and divide what we're working with here. So I'm going to divide both of these numbers by x squared and x squared. But remember, those x squareds is under that square root, right? So if I'm going to divide them out of for these two numbers, I got to make sure that I include that as far as under the square root. x squared minus x over square root of x squared divided by square root of 7 over x squared plus 6 over x squared. Now, as we already mentioned, the square root of x squared, fortunately for us, ladies and gentlemen, we know is going to be plus or minus x. Since x is approaches infinity, we can just simplify that to be x. Now, um, actually, you know what? Yeah, all right. OK, so now let's go ahead and determine where everything is going to. Um, 2 over a, um, where's my value? I know, but I had my. What was I looking? Where did my value go? OK. Um, 2 over any kind of number as it keeps on getting larger and larger and larger is obviously going to be going to 0. That's going to go to 1. So right now we have 0 minus 1 all over the square root of any number divided by x raised going to a higher power is going to be 0. Um, it, it is 6x squared, thank you. I was wondering. I was. So those divide out, so that's going to be plus 6. So therefore, we have negative 1 over the square root of 6 is going to be our value. And that is exactly what I got. Okay? That's going to be your estimate. Well, let's, well, why don't you guys go ahead and evaluate for the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and then we'll go and take a look at the graph. So why don't you guys do, try to do the same thing for negative infinity?